just less than one day away from its release from the early access. So we're gonna be diving in on important things that you got to know before starting the game, such as what type of game is this? Of course, this is from the Moon Studios, but it's a brand new ARPG. Yes, it does have a sense of some type of like RPG, such as like the difficulty modes, or maybe you're like a Dark Souls type of game, but at the same time, it does have the mix of El Diablo. So we're gonna say that this is in between Diablo in a Dark Souls game. You're going to have the difficulty of an ARPG, but you're also going to have the movement of a RPG that is going to combine both of them and make this game a lot of fun. So the big question with this brand new ARPG, what type of gameplay mechanics are we going to be able to see? Now, right from the beginning, you're going to be able to need to dodge, block, and parry if you are able to do any of those and just master one of them just let's just say pairing it's very important and you may say well that's in every single game yes but this game in particular is going to reward you because you're going to be able to face different bosses even when they are a little bit higher than you because you're going to master any of those three if you are able to do that you're going to be able to survive such crucial moments in the game but guess what you're also going to get rewarded for those different type of strategies so learning how to play in the beginning is going to reward you towards the end because as you are progressing to the game you're going to be able to improve your such as strength dexterity faith and much more which is going to be more towards the middle of the game now how about the character development one of the things with, about this game is a little bit different so you are going to be able to customize and adapt your player to any progression that you like so you can switch from one class to another class because the game is not about the class itself it's how you become more powerful with the weapons and that is where it takes me to another key element in the game and that is exploration when you are exploring the game you got to make sure you never miss one thing such as let's just put it like this if you miss the blacksmith you're going to miss on a lot of the game such as like making your weapons powerful because this game is like an elden ring type of game is going to focus on the weapon itself so if you raise your strength if you raise your dexterity or if you raise your faith then it depends on the type of weapon that you get it's how you become very powerful in this game so exploration it's a benefit and it's something you got to do try to find those secret areas that you're going to be able to find amazing loot that is going to make you very powerful now with early access games such as this one no rest for the wicked the big question to me is is this a finished game and the answer is going to be no this is going to be an early access type of game it's only going to be for pc it's not even xbox or playstation 5 so a lot is not done here so my advice to you is don't rush to the end but what I do got to tell you, though, is that since this game is influenced by Diablo 1 and also some other RPG type of games, there is going to be an end game content. And this end game content has to do with dungeons and different challenges that you're going to be able to participate in. It's going to include like combat, different combat styles, different enemies that you're going to be able to fight, puzzles that you're going to be able to solve in different platforming so if you're not really good about platforming then this is the time to get good once you start playing the game and what's going to make this a little more fun is as you're seeing here in the end game content you're never going to know what type of enemy is going to spawn in those rooms that you're going to go in at the beginning there's only going to be one particular statue that you're going to go in offer your blood and based on that you're going to be able to go through the whole dungeon with different challenges and so on and so on so that is something that you should look forward to and i think that's a little different than some early access games that don't even provide an end game content in this case moon studio is going to be playing with this type of end game content and that is going to be a way that they're going to be offering more for this game and i don't need to say even more about the design and the visuals of this game it looks expected spectacular such as like ori from the blind forest it looked amazing this game 
also visual wise you can't even complain just look at it everything is moving it looks alive and you're going to be able to immerse on something very special and other features that are coming for this early access it's going to be the multiplayer. So you're going to be able to play with three other people, pleading different dungeons and going through the different type of challenges with friends. So this is going to be fun so that we should be able to see in update one. And then we're going to see more content with the breach and further updates that they're going to be implementing in this game. So before you dive into this game, I just want you to make sure that when you're playing this game, don't think about, a game that is full that is finished that is complete no this is not this is early accident it's only going to be for pc but after playing this game i gotta tell you it's a lot of fun and this game is going to be something that a lot of you guys are going to enjoy and i'm fortunate with those on playstation and xbox yes you're going to need to wait a little bit longer than expected but eventually you're going to be able to play this game now let's dive into the combat and what tips i'm going to be able to provide as you are playing this game now this is going to emphasize on a balance just like any other games i'm not going to be even sugarcoat this is straight as you are hearing it now it's going to be based on defense and offense if you are the type of player that wants to rush go for it but of course you need to be aware that this game it does have a souls like type of style so it's going to be a little bit harder so at the beginning but i'm sure once you raise your level and you progress to the game you get better at dodging and you get better at pairing and all those different types of features that the game provides you you're going to be able to take down any boss and oh, and eventually once the multiplayer comes in you're going to have a lot of fun so big tip here is right from the beginning just try to focus on defense and offense once you get good at that then eventually you can move on and just do it however you want also one of the concerns with an early access game is how long is this game going to be able to take to complete so we're talking about between 15 to 25 hours and this is just one single playthrough as the per the developer he also mentions that this doesn't even include builds or if you replay ability. So whenever you have a different character, you, of course, you're going to try something new because you have your dexterity. You have also your different attributes leveled up that you are going to be able to try something new. Now, in regards to the performance of the game, yes, the game is going to be running at 60 frames per second. So if you are able to see here, you're able to see the minimum and recommended specs for your PC. So if your PC is able to handle 1080p, you're going to be able to run that at 30 frames per second for minimum and recommended is going to be 60 frames per second. So overall, you're seeing here how your computer is going to be able to handle. A lot of your concern is in regards to the loot system how is it going to work well the system is randomized so meaning that whenever you go to a chest you open it up you're going to find something next time you go you're going to find something different it's never going to be always the same thing so which makes it good because you always want to go to a chest and if that is the type of game that you like to grind for and want something different each time then definitely this game is going to be for you now, in regards to what happens when you die or you do you lose everything? Do you have to restart to a certain point? No, this game does not have like a bond type of fire system that you go to it and you go and get back your items that you lost. No, you die. And what happens is you start again. You don't lose anything. But what happens to your armor, your armor has a durability. So each time you take a hit or each time you go down, Whenever you come back, your armor durability is going to be less and less. And eventually, you're going to need to go to the blacksmith and to be able to repair that. Also, is the gear that you're going to be wearing going to have an effect on how you're going to move in the game, such as light, medium, heavy, and is going to have an effect. So if you are light, of course, you're going to be able to roll and you're going to move fast. But if you're heavy, it's not going to be a roll. It's going to be more like a swift. You're swift into the right or you're swift into the left. So it does matter how heavy you're going to be able to, to have your gear. So make sure 
you're always managing your inventory now this is what is fun about this game with early access which is also a very surprising thing is you're going to have a hundred different weapons and yes bows staff swords you name it it's there and on top of this to make the weapons even more powerful you're going to have a rune system um, if you ever play a game that has a rune system, you're going to be able to make the weapon powerful, which is something good in regards to the game because it's not based on class. It's based on that random loot that you find that it's a good weapon, but you're able to make it even more powerful. And yes, the game is going to have a progression system. So as you are playing through the game, you're going to acquire skills and then you use those skills to level up your abilities. And then such as your dexterity, your strength or your faith, and then you become very powerful. Or if you want to raise your health or your stamina and so much more. And eventually, yes, the game is going to have a crafting system. It's not going to be very evolved, but it's going to make you go collect items to be able to use it for your own plays or if you want to fix your weapons or get healing potions you're going to be able to do that through the blacksmith so that is why the blacksmith is one of the most important things that you got to unlock really quick now as you are going to be progressing through the journey there is one thing in particular that you may miss on in its different areas it's very easy to just miss a door very easy to miss an opening or a special chest that is hidden you're going to be able to just be patient and look for it opposed to just trying to rush through the game where you just might miss a lot of the different rewards that are going to make you very powerful so this game is going to reward you for your curiosity so if you are that type of player that loves to search and loves to look for stuff then you're going to be rewarded and hopefully this is throughout the whole entire game i can only speak for a portion of the game that i have experienced other than that hopefully throughout the mid and end game part of this game it maintains that and makes this a very enjoyable game hope this video was very informative to you guys if it did likes appreciate it don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more no rest for the wicked and we'll see you on the next one